big tech or small business? Which one will help you accelerate your cybersecurity career? Let's discuss. All right, so in today's video, we are going to talk about the whole fang kind of motion, the whole working at a global organization, the likes of Microsoft, etc., versus working in a smaller kind of organization and whether that has any impact or benefit or enhancement towards your cybersecurity career. Okay, before we start, let's make it clear. I want to make it very clear that these are my own views. There is no scientific research behind this. There is no um, method of establishing this. This is based on my own personal experience of working in a very, very tiny, small business, a system integrator type business, the largest financial services institution in South Africa and as well as a global corporation, which is Microsoft. Okay, so first point of call to mention is that the only person who can effectively accelerate your cybersecurity career is you. The power of your career lies solely with you. The organization that you work for might help you get there and get to different stages by providing certain benefits that could help you really, you know, study more if they're paying for training or take the right amount of time off if you need to learn more or pay for certain conferences in order for you to network, etc. So there are certain benefits that certain organizations can enable you with in order to help you to accelerate your career, but the power of your career lies with you. You can be working within an organization, and I've seen this before, where they have such incredible benefits to help people grow, learn, and move forward in their career, but people just don't utilize those benefits. You know, there's just no desire to learn and no desire to grow and move forward. You know, people spend a lot of time in their particular role without upskilling, without looking for what's next, etc. So it doesn't matter that an organization could have all of these benefits. If you don't use these benefits, then you're not going to get anywhere, right? All right, second point. Working for a global organization that is a vendor or service provider, and here we're talking about the likes of Microsoft, Amazon, Google, etc. It's also important to note that you will get different kinds of exposure and experience depending on the space that you are in within the organization. Now, these organizations are service providers to other businesses and a lot of people work in the space where they're actually providing their services, meaning whether you're an architect, an engineer, etc. You're usually a customer engineer. You're helping customers mature their environment. Now, there are certain benefits to this, right? You're working with multiple different customers, so you get to learn about the setups um, and the environment and get exposure on multiple different environments. However, it's important to note that there is a caveat here. You are not the person in that business that is actually getting the experience of setting things up and configuring things, etc. Those people are doing it within the, the, the cybersecurity professionals within that organization's team. They are getting more exposure in this space than you in terms of being hands-on technical. You can build labs and you can get experience in that regard. That's fine. But in terms of actual real-world experience and configuration, you are going to be able to guide and advise. You are not going to be able to actually implement and know the nitty gritty of what goes on in an external organizations or a customer organization's entire technical landscape so that you can apply security controls against their entire technical landscape. So that's one thing that's important to note. 
Um, so what you basically need to decide is you need to decide what's important for you. Do you want to be um, extremely technical and hands-on and focused on certain implementations, etc.? Then where you might get more exposure is actually if you target a customer organization. So if you target a bank, if you target an insurance company, if you target a retailer. In, within those organizations, they have cybersecurity teams. And as part of that cybersecurity team, you would be the one that is actually the key decision maker or one of the decision makers or one of the implementers or one of the analysts for that organization which means that you will have a lot more hands-on experience and insight um, into actual configuration of different cybersecurity components within that business. Then there is the second part of being in the vendor space where you could be working in the internal teams, right? So um, think again about an organization like Microsoft. You could be working within the actual Microsoft Security Operation Center where you look after the security threats and incidents and cybersecurity um, risks for Microsoft, the organization itself, then Microsoft is essentially your customer environment and you do get the hands-on experience. So depending on the different spaces that you could fall into within a vendor space, you could get different kinds of experience. It is very rare in such a big uh, organization that you get this experience all at once you would have to move to different roles in order to get different types of experience number three I think um, let's discuss the small business type scenario I think that while there may not be as many learning and development benefits as many job enablement kind of benefits in a smaller organization what you do get within a smaller organization is the ability to learn at a rapid pace, do more than one thing at a time and essentially establish yourself as a well-rounded security professional. In a lot of the bigger organizations, if you move into the organization as a threat intelligence analyst, they would have a massive team and they would have, you know, you as part of the threat intel team. And that would sort of be it. That would be what you are doing. Anything over and above threat intel, you would pass on to the security analysts or to the incident responders or to the cybersecurity manager, etc. But that would be your role. In order for you to move into a different role, you would need to go and join a different team. Versus in a small business, they would have a much smaller team. So you would like be the person who is the cybersecurity analyst, the threat intelligence analyst. Um, you would be scanning for vulnerabilities at the same time, etc. Now, while that could be overwhelming, it could also be a massive accelerator and enabler for your career and for gaining hands-on experience. There is no one size fits all year. There is certain requirements that you need to look for in um, what your purpose is and what you want to achieve within cybersecurity. If you have your criteria up front of what you're looking to achieve, then it will make it much easier for you to know which organizations you want to target next. All right, friends, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe if you like this content and also remember to check out my previous video where I shared more information around how you can become a penetration tester starting from zero.